So today we're going to be showing you how to perform post-operative care on an abscess marsupialization in a rabbit. So this little individual here had severe dental disease that resulted in a very large dental abscess. He has had multiple teeth extracted and we have marsupialized that abscess, which means we've turned it inside out essentially with the intention of making this heal from the inside out slowly over a period of weeks. But what you as owners need to do is you need to make sure that you get in there and you get it nice and clean um, and allow any material that is building up in there to be removed. So what we will be doing is that we will be flushing this surgical site with um, about 100 mil of sterile saline twice a day. Now, this rabbit's very good. You will probably flinch a little bit because it's going to be a little bit um, uh, a little bit uncomfortable for him. But we have placed a little bit of local anesthesia in here and he's on lots of pain relief as well as antibiotics as well. What I've got to do is I've got a 20 mil syringe and a green needle. And we're essentially just going to sit back and we are going to gently flush into this surgical site. I know my buddy. So we're just gently flushing in there. And you can see already we've got chunks of material coming out of here. So big old chunks of pus. Now, this rabbit's got such severe dental disease that actually there's a little hole that communicates with the inside of his mouth where we've removed these teeth. So there's a very small amount of the syringe feed that we've been giving him being removed from that surgical site as well. But that's kind of to be expected given the extent of the surgery that he's undergone. And it's really important to remove all of that material with each flush. So we're going to, again, continue to flush this and we just stay a few inches away from the face. We ultimately, we don't want him to flinch onto the end of the needle either. But we keep going until we've done 100 mil and then after we have flushed it, we pack that surgical site. Now, sometimes you'll see that some vets put antibiotic impregnated beads in there. I find that sometimes, well, in many cases, actually, that, that can cause a lot of issues. So personally, in this instance, we're going to be using Manuka honey. So that helps it heal. We've got a little tube of Manuka honey here. Now, after we have finished flushing the surgical site with 100 ml of sterile saline, I'm going to pop a small amount of this directly into that site, which encourages it to heal as well. And it's going to take a number of weeks for this to heal. The longer that this surgical site stays open for, the better chance we have of getting this infection under control. Because rabbit pus is really thick and it's often associated with an incredibly thick fibrous capsule that keeps that infection in sight, these infections often embed into the bone, which is where antibiotics will definitely help. But antibiotics alone are not enough in many instances of rabbit dental disease and rabbit abscess formation. So we do need to perform these rather um, invasive and intense oral facial surgeries. And it's very, very important that these individuals have lots and lots of pain relief afterwards. So, as I said, final summary, 100 ml of sterile saline into this hole. Um, just chilling he's been very very well behaved we do this twice a day once we've done each flush we will fill that surgical site with manuka honey